Alrighty, it is now even time. Columbus, Georgia. We're suited up, ready to go. Got all the gear ready to go. All right, safety, safety everything. Official gear. All right, first thing to tell us to do is remove this outer cover off here. Come back, can't see it real well. We have our two and a half pounds of bee, Mountain Sweet Honey Company, Tacoa, Georgia. So you have this little cardboard thing on top of it. I'm see a wooden thing on top of here, this side up. As they come shipped, just like this, what we're gonna do is you can use your hive tool. You see, I went ahead and cheated and uh, pried it up, but you wanna take your hive tool or some kind of cheater and pry this, uh, this top off right here. So we got this top off, save this top. That's what they tell us to do, it's very important because when we take this can out, the feeder can out, um, you'll see right in here, underneath here, feeder can. That feeder can, we're going to take that out, and uh, when we pull that out, we're going to put this um, back over the top of the hole so the bees don't go everywhere and they eat me. So we're going to try to not to make that happen. I love this suit. Um, fast in the second. Anyway, so when we do that, we're going to get the queen out of here. She's strapped this little thing inside a little box right here. Um, I'll show it as I go. So we're going to pull this off, lay it off the side right here. Now, first thing you want to do after you do all that is you want to get you a mixture. Some people say use straight water. Some people say use a sugar water solution. You're going to spray the bees to calm. They say they'll calm them down a little bit. They want to um, not fly when it's all wet. Hi, how you doing? I'm wearing that cool. You're not, but you want one. You have one. Um, they sell them. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to spray these bees down little sugar water, not too much, not, don't get all crazy. Give them a good spray spray like this. Keeps them all down, keep them chill. I said it makes them not want to fly. I use the sugar water solution. I mean, when in doubt, make it a sweet experience for them. All right, so we got them sprayed down here. Got them chilled down a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to set that down here. Hello, do you like my mask? So we're gonna set this down here and we're gonna pull this box I mean, pull this can, pry this can. This is the feeder can. We're gonna pry that bad boy. Now, when this happens, you're be expecting something huge to happen. Seriously, there's gonna be lots of bees coming out. So, a little love, a little magic, go in there. Make sure you use the proper tools like I'm not using. Whatever works for you to make it a more pleasant experience. Now, once you have that out, your queen, like I said, is on that little strappy dap there on the side. So once we pull this out, we're going to want to cover it up rather quickly. A little friends tagging along there. Hi, friends. Don't get mad at me. I love you. It's all getting along. Slide that little feeding thing over there. Don't hurt them little fellas. Next thing, hi. Hello. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off here. And take the quickly take the queen out. Push these little guys back in there. Don't squish too many of them. And I'm brush them off. First off, you see little right here. Lots of them in there. Hello. Lots of bees. I'm freaking out right now. I'm so... It's the first time I've ever done this, by the way. First time ever. Freaking out. Nerve level is 11. All right, so we're supposed to brush these off. Down in here, by that, I, uh... Woohoo! They don't like that. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm going to brush them off there. Down to the hive. Now, next they say... Make sure she's alive and doing well. I see her in there. This is cool as crap. I'm nervous. I'm shaking right now. I'm like this. Uh, but make sure she's alive in there. Next we're going to do is going to pull the cork out of the side with the candy on it. Candy side. Cork. Not the other side. That'll immediately release her. We don't want to do that. So next thing we'll do is going to get us a pair of something somethings. Stay over there, guys. Get us a little something in here. Dig this cork out. Now 
I know you've heard me say this before right now. I'm as nervous as a nine-tailed cat in a room full of rockers. So, anything you can do, I'm going to get this cork out. Bing! Now, that's candy in there. So, the idea is, is these little guys in there are going to help her out, hang out with her. They're going to eat through the candy in there, and then they're going to release her. It gives her a couple days. It's a time release mechanism, all that. So, got that done. I'm trying to hurry here. So the next thing you want to do is we'll put up, we open up the slots to the middle of the hive and strap side up. I had an emergency piece of tape sitting here right here waiting on me so we can do this kind of fast. The bees are getting a little upset. And I'm going to put her in there in the middle of the hive up. Strap up like that. Not all the way to the top. so she can kind of get her, eat her way out of that candy and all that and she's happy inside the hive there so got that done next big part we're gonna squirt these guys down a little bit get them chill a little more they're everywhere out here oh yeah but you know what's the cool thing is they have no interest in eating me right now i could take this mask off i'm not but i could tell you something they're really they're not bad they're flying around they're more like hey what's going on where's my queen at they're trying to get in here they have no no idea about me. They could care less about me right this second. They want to hang out with the queen. So, next thing you're gonna do, here's the dramatic pause. You're gonna take this top off. Like I say, they do what they're called the B bump. So what you want to do is you're gonna bump this down like so. You take it up here and you're gonna drop them down. Give them a good little drop down like that. Now, the fun part. The fun part. We're going to turn it up and over and dump the bees into the hive. Just all in the hive. You can't see this right now, but it's scary as crap to me. So we're just gonna shake, 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 shake your booty. Get as many of those guys in there. If we possibly can. Not ridiculous. And what we're gonna do, we got that done. These little guys, they're gonna wanna hang out with her. So we're gonna set this off kind of the side nearby so they know that she's close. Now I'm gonna stick a little bit closer once I'm done. Once we've got that done, bees are going in there. Bees are getting happy. Bees are doing bee things. So, got the bees kind of going there, finding her. We're going to slide this back over, kind of guard her in a little bit. Kind of protect her in there, not squish the little fellas together. Boy, this thing's starting to hum. They're getting a little mad at me now. So now we've got that kind of all done up like that. Got them together. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take... So we've got our checklist here. Queen is in there, queen extruder's in there, uh, queen's in there, plug's been moved, everything's ready, she's ready to eat her way out two to three days. We're gonna put the top on, slide these little fellas, we don't squish a bunch of, move guys, move, we don't wanna squish you. Move out of the way, incoming. I guess that's what a bee brush is for. I love these guys, I'm already excited. I can't tell what the hell the difference is in one or the other. I can't, I really. But big ones, little ones, small ones. Neat guys. So, now, we've got the cover top on here. Bees are in here doing their thing. I said the empty box one on top of this one. I'm going to set the box that, like that. And we're going to put... The feeder can with all the good love in it's got a little bit in there I've got one here I've got another one already prepared though you know what I forgot I was gonna add two more frames to this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in reverse a little bit but I made me up a mixture two parts um, sugar one part water pop me some holes in it made my own little feeder I'm gonna turn this upside down give it something to eat on these guys are starting to get a little agitated I reckon so I'm going to try to make this kind of quick. I'm going to take the juice out of here. There's a hole at the top of this. My nerves are starting to calm down. I feel a little better. All right, so we're going to take this back off here. Me, 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 me. Take that off me. Take this back off me. I'm going to put these other two frames in. Give them lots of places to work with. Ooh, hi guys, coming in. I'm making more room for you. Don't squish, don't get squished. All right, one, two. So we got all 10 frames in here. 
like that. All 10 frames. We are in biz business. Get it? All right, so again, gently going to push these guys. Man, they are more worried about that queen than me right now. We are going to put that right back on there like that. Try not to squish too many little fellers. Get this box back. There's one on the inside there. Put that on there like that. Don't squish yourself. That back on there like that. Now, this is the part when there's a hole in the top of that um, box. This box right here that I should have painted. Because I know it's there now. Um, there's a hole in it. And we're going to sit the can halfway over the hole so they can come up, fly through. But yet you can still get to this mixture in the bottom that popped the hole. Now, I'm going to double dose them because I gave them the big hole one. So we got lots of there. So we're going to give, I got two of them. So I'm going to give them the stuff they're used to feeding off of. See that? It's starting to work there. We're gonna give them that to feed off there. We're gonna put it halfway over that hole, half knot. Make sure it's feed it side down. Make sure you got the hole pop side down. Give them plenty of room to get it out of there. Another thing, if you'll you will notice, I, you can't notice from this picture, but I also took the um, the hole, the small hole, the big hole thing that goes in here. I made it, I used the smallest one. That'll kind of keep them in the hive for a while until they get used to the queen, until she eats her, eats her way out. Now I'm gonna come back uh, tomorrow, make sure the, uh, the solution in there, the sugar solution, two parts sugar, one part water. Make sure they have plenty to eat in there. And uh, I'm also gonna see that she is uh, actively trying to get her way or they're eating through to get her out. So uh, I'm gonna work on that, but tonight I'm gonna let them be. I'm gonna, Leave this box sitting over here. Let the rest of them kind of migrate over and find her. I can already tell they're starting to find her. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on here. And let them start making themselves at home. So, now that I've got that done, I'm just going to sit this, I'll sit around top. And they're close by. So we'll sit that right there. Let them get used to their new home. I'm going to go inside, be quiet, let them kind of chill out, get all my tool equipment together, and I uh, hope it's informative. You can't see this right now, but there's actually blackberry blooms right below me. So, my first time ever. I hope I didn't do a horrible job on this. Hope it wasn't a train wreck. Hope you had a good time. See you next time on the Bee Adventures. I can't turn the camera off because my gloves are on. I'll tell you, this is how crazy it is. This, this is how comfortable I'm. Bees are everywhere right now. They're all around me. All around me. Hands off. Not even wear, actually, I wouldn't even wear gloves. If I knew it was going to be this cool, I was nervous at first. Bees, fine. They don't care. They don't want me. They want to go hang out with the queen back there. They're like, dude, Woody, you're not a flower. Whatever. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned next time on my bee adventures. Whew. That deserves an adult beverage. <laughs>